Hello everyone, I just wanted to talk about a video that we made um, not too long ago about burnout, the burnout syndrome. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit because the first time I used the term was when I was leaving my previous job. I just couldn't handle it anymore. I was going to work unmotivated, I was hating it. Sundays were awful for me because I knew that the next day I'll have to be in the office. And the worst part is that it's not that I hated my job, it's just that, that the situation that was going on, I was feeling that I couldn't really help the company, I couldn't really do anything, I couldn't go any further, there was nothing else for me. And burnout doesn't come always from, from a place of, oh, I can't do my job. Sometimes it's like, yeah, you can, but it's not just what you want to do. And it's okay to address that, not only to yourself, but also to your supervisor, to your managers. I mean, most companies right now, they're trying to avoid this. And that's also the key. Burnout is not something you want to fix, it's something you want to avoid. And I really want to encourage you to think of ways that you can make it a little more fun at work or trying to figure out how can you challenge yourself, try to find things that motivate you every day. Because otherwise you're going to end up burning yourself and you're going to hate it and things usually don't end up really well. But if you find these little things, it might make your life easier. But also you have to find that moment too when you know that there's nothing else to do. And if you get to that point, don't be scared of taking a hard step of leaving what you're doing and trying to find something else that is going to fulfill you. Um, take your time. Do everything in a, in a way that... I mean, think about it before doing it and plan it well. But if you have to do it, do it. Leave what is making you angry and giving you this pain. But otherwise, try to prevent it. Try to, try to find the little things that are making you angry, the little things that are making you not enjoy what you're doing, and address them. Address them to a colleague. Address them to yourself, to your manager. Uh, I, like I said, a lot of companies have ways to prevent this and have ways to help their team in order to not to get to uh, burn out themselves. So, I mean, if you want to share your burnout story, I'll be happy to hear it. Otherwise, happy Monday, and this is Raw.